All right, to prepare the pin cushion loom, um, there's really not much you need, but to save your fingers, you can go to lace making supply uh, companies and buy tools like this that have a little pin puller on one side and a pin pusher on the other side. You can use a thimble to protect your fingers. They also sell um, pattern prickers. This one is just a pin vise that I bought on um, Amazon and it has a little um, thing that tightens down with a collet in there that holds a needle. So I've just got a really sharp needle in there. This was called a precision, um, I think they called it a, a precision chip lifter and I got that one on Amazon. It's a little bit chunkier than this one but it's I actually like it better and I use the other end of it for pushing pins but it is a little fatter this one gets in there between the pins a lot easier like when you get ready to push your pins in after you get the loom laced this is pretty narrow so it gets in between I also 3d printed one that I'm messing around with but I can tell the tip of this is pretty weak so if I get it in a bind it may snap off but it works pretty good too so if I break it I can just print up another one these I don't remember what they were called I was doing a search on Amazon for a pin pusher and these were made for I think uh, watchmaking or to work on watches and they come three in a pack and they're really good for pushing these pins some of them are different sizes so that one actually goes all the way through but this one's solid so uh, anyway you can find different tools that'll help you again you can just use a a thimble you can also use a spoon to pull pins out so whatever you can find but your fingers will get really sore um, if you don't use some sort of a tool so to prepare um, the pattern I've got this printed up and on blue paper and I laminated in, in a laminating machine and um, there might be quite a bit of glare on here but you want to um, just kind of secure the pattern you can do it in four corners or you can just do it in the middle just to start off with I may just go ahead and secure it in the corners for the next step And um, this step is not 100% necessary, but it does help. So I got my um, pin, my pattern pricker, and I'm just going to go in each one of these red dots that represents my pattern. And I'm just making a little pilot hole. This pin, you use these a lot for bobbin lace because all your patterns start out this way. You're always working on a lace pillow and you've got to get all your pins going and your fingers get pretty sore so you can be more accurate if you go ahead and make your little pilot holes to begin with so I'm not going to go all the way around so um, what I want to do is go ahead and push my anchor pins down get them out of my way and I'm not going to show the actual uh, spreading the, the web on this I just want to show putting the pins in around your pattern. So use pins that won't go all the way through your pin cushion. And I usually just kind of get them started at about a 45 degree angle. Kind of going by the guidelines that I printed. Not all the patterns that you buy are going to have all these radiating lines and stuff. I was just messing around with this in my drawing program. So you would go all the way around your, your pattern um, with all the pins that you need in your dots and then you want to push them down to, to where they stick up about a quarter to a half of an inch like that and you'll have your pin or uh, your pattern ready to lace with your um, thread that you're planning on using so the pin cushion version of the loom is really fast you can get to um, your the uh, the fun part pretty pretty quickly uh, versus the uh, 3D printed loom.